Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you two techniques that you can use to make your rap lyrics pop a lot more and make them just sound a lot more interesting. And to demonstrate this, I'm about to rap one of my verses over an instrumental that I produced called Fairy Tales. If you like this instrumental, I'll post a link to where you can purchase it in the video's description below. And without further ado, let's get straight to it. It's 12 o'clock at night, it's very scary Riding with a girl named Mary, it's very Jerry Springer Trust me, you'll tell me, yeah, this girl was a dime piece She had brown skin and orange hair, and every time we chilled I had to use some visine, she made me cry I don't think she liked me, sometimes she fight me And knocked me out about two to three times, this happened nightly She was nasty, swore to be classy, but she was shysty Let everybody on the block hit it, but said she liked me She told me Nike, just do it wife me And she was feisty, tried to entice me and had precisely Already picked the date and the venue 420 at the Swisher house, with fresh wraps all on the menu I told her, I hate to be blunt, but see, hun, we need to hash this out right now, cause you weighing me down. I hope this resonates, I'm tired of eating Debbie cakes, I'm lazy, overweight, and think it's best to go our separate ways. Okay, the first technique I want to share with you that I used in this verse is something called personification. And basically what personification is, is when we take an object and we give it human being or animal-like characteristics. So for an example, this whole entire rap verse is a personification. You can think of it almost as like a double entendre as well, having two different meanings. So seemingly, this rap verse is talking about me breaking up with this girl that was not good for me. But in all actuality, what I'm doing is using the girl as a personification of marijuana. So the verse is actually about me breaking it off with this habit that I had at the time when I wrote this of stopping smoking marijuana. At the time, this was like, I don't know, this is... I wrote this verse probably like 16, 17 years ago, probably. I was still living at the house with my parents. I had all these dreams, goals, and aspirations. And I felt like this was actually holding me back personally at the time and was causing to be me to be kind of lazy and, and not really getting after it, if you will. So this is like a rap verse that I wrote to break up with marijuana. So for an example, I'm talking about marijuana. I'm calling the girl Mary. And I say the girl was a dime piece, right? So that's a slang term for the girl was a 10, like beautiful, perfect, all that. But what I'm really saying is I'm playing off of the, the amount of weed that you would buy back in the day called a dime, which is like a $10 sack of marijuana of weed. And uh, that's what I'm really saying here. And I also said that I don't think she liked me. Sometimes she fight me and knock me out about two to three times. This happened nightly. So I'm like, making it seem like we're getting in like, like she's physically abusive to me and like she's punching me. But what I'm really saying is I was getting so high, I was just passing out, you know, that much on a nightly basis, which is an over-exaggeration. And that's another little technique that you should definitely try to use in your rap verses and songs is don't be afraid to exaggerate things and, and play them up a little bit, make them more dramatic. Also, just a couple of more examples of personification could be the lightning danced across the sky right? Lightning does not dance, humans dance, but you could say the lightning danced across the sky, or you could say the wind howled at night. So howling, when I think of howling, I think about wolves or dogs or something like that. And so you could say the wind howled at night. And so personification could bring these things to life more and make them more relatable or just make them sound a lot more interesting. And the second example I want to share with you is called implication. So a lot of times we can just say things that are right on the surface, right on the nose. There's nothing more in depth about them. There's nothing more to, to dig out of it. No more meaning to extract out of it. And that's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But we can also do the opposite and imply things. So instead of just coming out and saying them, we can imply them and allow the listener to kind of come to that conclusion themselves. And they realize what you're actually really saying. And it can make what you're saying more poetic, a little bit more cryptic, and it could also give it potentially more meaning and make it mean different things to different people. So for an example, in my verse, I said, she told me Nike, just do it, wife me. So when just instead of just coming out and saying, she told me to marry her, I said it that way instead. And it just makes it more interesting. It's just a play on the words as well. And uh, it just makes it just a, an interesting way to say something that you would normally just say, Hey, she told me to marry her. And here's a few more examples of implication. So let's say that you wanted to say, I hate it when you lie to me. All right. You could say that in a few different ways. You could say, I despise your illusions. I detest the masks you wear. Your deception leaves me gutted. 
your lies pierce my soul. Or let's say, instead of saying that I hate it when you lie, you could say, I'm not fooled by your lies, but you could say it in these different ways. You could say, I'm not tricked by your illusions. I'm not deceived by your sleight of hand. I'm not moved by your misdirection. Your tricks are ineffective. So the next time that you're writing a verse or a song, try to use one of these techniques, personification or implication. And while you're at it, feel free to drop an example of both of them in the comment section below and share it with me and the rest of the community. I love to see you give it a shot. My name is Cole Mize with ColeMizeStudios.com, where I strive to make you a better rapper now. And if you're trying to perfect your rap skills, make sure that you get yourself a free copy of my ebook, The Number One Fundamental to Rapping, via the link in the video's description below. And subscribe to this channel for more straight to the point, no BS, how to rap video tutorials just like this one. And always remember, when it comes to rapping, there's no rules, there's only techniques. Peace. Hey man, you see that subscribe button right there? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, and don't forget the bell icon. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Hey, I know you see that like button, right? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. And look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself today I'm gonna kill it, kill it.